That's critical mass. We're going to need to send that energy somewhere. What? To where? Uh, Earth 15. Earth 15 is a dead Earth. Breach it there now. What is good YouTube, Watch you here with a video on The Flash Season 4. So during the latest episode of The Flash, Episode 10, The Trial of Flash, where we met the metafuman called Fallout, who was basically a walking nuclear bomb, where the resolution to kind of stop him was for Bar Barry to funnel around Fallout's radiation upwards so Cisco could vibe it to a another universe, another dimension. So it's pretty interesting what happened because Harrison Wells came out with it Earth-15 very fast, which if you don't read the comic books, Earth-15 is essentially a dead Earth. So when Cisco asks where he should vibe the radiation to, Wells tells him send it to Earth-15 because Earth-15 is a dead Earth. But if you think about it, the multiverse is all kind of Earths that are different to each other. So how could it be a dead Earth with literally no survivors? Crisis on Earth X, that was basically a dead Earth, but there was a lot of people there. And that might prompt you to wonder, why is Earth-15 dead? What was it like before? And like I just said, considering the multiverse is crazy big and every Earth is supposed to be different, there's got to be some backstory to Earth-15. So in the comic books, Earth-15 was kind of a paradise and crime was virtually non-existent on Earth-15. And the superheroes that remained were largely respected for their names, their psychics, their protégés and their masters. So on Earth-15, Wonder Woman is Donna Troy, the Batman mantle has been taken up by the second Robin, Jason Todd, rather than Carlisle. Kal the Superman title belongs to Zod. I know this is very odd. And there's also a Kyle Green Lantern and a female version of the Atom, Jessica Palmer. And they all work together to keep the peace, essentially. And that's essentially their job. But then Superman Prime shows up and literally destroys the whole planet. Now you can guess where I'm going, going with this. But... In the comics, at least Earth-15 version of Green Lantern and Jessica Palmer, aka the Atom, escaped the planet before it was destroyed by Superman Prime. So there's no reason why the kind of Arrowverse TV show Earth could have some survivors on Earth-15, because you've got to think, when they set up the, the Earth, Earth-19, then we see like the Accelerating Man, we see um, Gypsy, so they are indirectly setting something up for later on this season. So it's going to be quite interesting to see what happens later on the, uh, later on down the line. One of the reasons would could be because Earth-15 is discovered in the first place because some of the other Earths in the DC Heroes are in search of a hero we, we all know from the Arrowverse. Ray Palmer, Ray is currently on DC Legends Tomorrow, which is largely about time travel. So there's no reason that in addition to, in addition to time traveling, Ray and the Legends couldn't also travel to a parallel universe such as Earth-15. Barry and Cisco could do it also. So essentially, they could be setting up a potential crossover for a later season. And there's no reason that why Taylor Hecklin, who plays the kind of TV version of Superman could play Superman Prime because I know and no, sorry I know that Mark Guggenheim inferred that DC Warner Brothers said they weren't allowed to use any Justice League characters but Superman Prime is a completely different version of the kind of DC extended DC extended universe version so he's nothing like that so potentially they could be setting up a Earth 15 crossover because it's a bit odd that Harrison Wells knows about it just like he knew about Crisis on Earth X about Planet X. I think they're potentially setting up some kind of storyline that could use a Tyler Hecklin version of Superman Prime and have him reprise the role on Flash just for a brief cameo period. It would be quite cool to explore another Earth because we haven't really explored many Earths. Earth 3, we've not really seen it. The only Earth where we really explored is Earth 2 
and also Earth-19, but we haven't really seen much of it. So that's pretty interesting, guys. Just a theory. What do you think? Do you think that could happen? Do you think it'd be possible? I think it would be quite cool. So there's also another potential storyline moving forward, which is in episode 15, there has been rumours coming out that supposedly the reverse Flash is going to be returning maybe so there's a twitter handler called discussion discussing films they imply that reverse flash is going to be returning for episode 15 entitled a flash time but i don't know how true that is because the actor matt has recently got a recurring season-long role on a netflix show but it all depends when they're going to start filming that Netflix show because they will be filming episode 15 in the next few weeks. So potentially he could return for this episode. We already know that the original the original Flash, Jay Garrick, is going to be in that episode. Jesse Quick is rumoredly going to be in that episode. But I don't think Kid Flash Wally West will be because he is rumoredly confirmed to be on Legends tomorrow. Well, at least going to be on a hand of four episodes. I mean, I, I originally said that five, five, four or five months ago. So yes, I did say that before everyone else, and now everyone else is claiming the rights that they said it. But no, we theorise that. You can go look back at the video. I was literally the first person to say that Wally was going to Legends Tomorrow, because most of my theories come true. I mean, I got Prometheus right, I got Savitar right, I got Vigilante right. I literally get everything right, but this is just a concept, just a theory. So anyway, guys, do you think Superman Prime come into a Arrowverse crossover with Superman, and they could, uh, Superman Prime, they could potentially go to Earth-15 and see what it's like, because... It would be interesting. I mean, you can't name drop an Earth and then not go see it. And also, in episode 15, it would make sense if it was a speedster-based episode called Enter Flash Time, where it's all the speedsters trying to figure out what Barry's Speed Force programming language was when he first came out of Speed Force. And obviously, Reverse Flash always likes to be the smartest person in the room. So if anyone's going to trigger it or figure it out, it's going to be Reverse Flash, because obviously, if it's going to make sense, it should be the Reverse Flash that's still inside the Speed Force. He is the most intelligent speedster we have ever met. Harrison Wells is very clever, but I don't think it's going to be a Harrison Wells person because it's going to have to be someone who's spent a long time in the Speed Force. Obviously, we found out in this week's episode that Barry, what Barry came out when he came out of the Speed Force, says, I didn't do it, I was innocent, I didn't kill him. Obviously, Barry didn't kill Clifford Defoe, aka the Thinker. So I think a lot of this Speed Force, lang that Speed Force language is going to come back and be plot points going forward, and it's going to be quite interesting. And obviously, once they figure out what this Speed Force language means, they can actually find out what this enlightenment that the mechanic and Clifford Defoe are actually gonna try to do so guys let me know what do you think about this kind of super prime superman prime theory do you think it's cool and do you think reverse flash will be in episode 15 because we can't have a season of the flash without the reverse flash i'm not really going to include the cameo role during the crossover because crossovers are standalone they don't really mean anything for the overall development anyway guys please like subscribe and comment i will be trying my best to get more flash arrow legends tomorrow when it comes back and supergirl videos out as i've been doing too much marvel stuff recently on the channel but it's just due to scheduling time and having time to make videos but i love making flash videos so i'll be trying to make more for you guys anyway please like subscribe and comment as that would help the channel grow massively and it would mean that you love the videos so guys join team war stew and we will catch you in another video guys very soon catch you later